Hello friends, welcome to the final curriculum reveal video for 2024. This is for my son who is technically going into fourth grade. He's always kind of straddled between third and fourth. Um, and I'm excited to share what we're using this year. So if you're new, hello, I'm Christine. I have three kids and we're going into our fourth year homeschooling. Um, my kiddos will be nine, seven, and five for most of the year. And this is my eldest child's schoolwork. So I did a review video on all the curriculum I used with him last year. I'll leave that linked for you here so you can go and compare and check. Um, but I'm just gonna get straight into it and share what we're using. These are his individual subjects. He'll also be doing science, history, literature, Bible, and enrichment studies together as a family. Um, I've got a video on our group subjects. I'll link for you here. You can go look at that. But these are just his individual subjects. So like math, um, language arts, handwriting, and spelling, and literature um, are his individual subjects that he does. So let's get straight into it. First up, language arts. We used the Good and the Beautiful level two last year. And I actually went back and forth as to whether or not I was going to continue with The Good and the Beautiful. The main reason was literature. And I don't have anything really negative to say about sunlight literature. I mean, not sunlight literature. <laughs> the Good and the Beautiful literature. Man, my brain is tired. Um, I don't have anything negative to say about their literature. Aside from the fact that my son is a real boy's boy. He likes hunting and the army and he's just, I don't know. Sometimes I find the good, and the, the good and the Beautiful a little bit too perfect. I don't know. I like there to be a little bit more angst and conflict in things. It doesn't mean I want my children exposed to bad stuff by any means, but I love a lot of classic literature and some classic literature just isn't always good. And beautiful it just isn't but sometimes that's also just life and some things lead to really good conversations so I don't know I don't know how to express that without it sounding like I want my kids to just be exposed to everything because I certainly do not and I still only have them you know it's a very wholesome literature but I just wanted more out of the good and the beautiful and so I considered using another curriculum and then at the end of the day I decided that I didn't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater because we actually really like the curriculum, but I wanted more literature and more literature we can supplement. And so I decided to stick with them. And so we're moving on to their level three and I'm actually really excited for this level. It looks lovely. Um, he really enjoys the picture study and the artist study and you know, he does well with his grammar and everything in there. And then I do have their literature, which it came with these, ugh, hold on four readers. They're shared readers, which he loves doing with me. So we will continue on with these. I printed this all at home. So it is a free curriculum, which is another big draw card for us. I'm not going to lie. It saves us a lot of money being able to print this all for free at home. Um, so he's going to continue with this and then I'll just supplement the areas where I feel like I want more or we need more. Um, and I'll do it without feeling any guilt. So um, that is what he's going to continue on with for his language arts. For handwriting, we're also continuing on with the good and the beautiful. It's not his favorite subject, but it's also not something he like despises. Um, he just does it because he has to kind of thing. So this is going to be his second year doing cursive. He actually surprised me last year. I didn't think he was going to be very strong at cursive, but he does pretty well. Um, and so he's going to continue on with that this next year. For math. We're continuing grade three, uh, Math with Confidence from Kate Snow. And um, as soon as grade four comes out, we'll grab that as well. So he's halfway through this. We started it sort of halfway through the year. Um, and he's doing really, really well with it. He's done multiplication um, and he's like learning tons. So we'll continue with this curriculum. Highly recommend it. I'm using it with all three of my kids this year. Uh, it's just fantastic. You can get it as a PDF download from Well-Trained Mind, or you can buy the physical um, copy of it from several different places. Um, I think Rainbow Resource sells it, and Amazon, and um, what else? Christian Book might? I don't know if Christian Book does. They probably do. Um, there's loads of places that sell this in its physical form. 
And the instructor's guide is non-consumable. So if you did want to reuse this with another child, all you need is the student workbook. So it's a very, very good math curriculum. And then spelling. So spelling, last year we did a Becca at the end of the year and he's gonna continue doing that. So I'm just gonna keep going with a Becca spelling for him. It's just, it's very easy and simple and he's doing well, well with it. So um, he's kind of, he's doing grade one spelling at the moment and moving pretty fast through that. Um, and then I've got grade two for him as well. So we'll just go at his pace with that. And I really want to build up his confidence in that area because it's one that he sort of um, not struggled, but he doubted himself with. And so I just really want him to feel confident in it. And so I'd rather start at a lower level and build up his confidence. He doesn't know the levels. I don't point them out. Um, I don't think it's necessary to. I just want him to be where he needs to be. So that's what we're doing for spelling. And then finally, we are doing literature. Hang on. So we're doing sunlight grade three um, readers this year. Here are his readers. I did purchase these new from sunlight this year and had them shipped to me because these I can hand down to all of my kids, um, making them like a lot more affordable in that sense. Um, there are a lot more sort of like chapter books this year, which he's excited to do. His reading has progressed so much over the course of the 2023. Um, he's particularly excited to read Viking Adventure. Looks very much up his alley. We love sunlight literature. And so he's going to do this. This is independent. I have my kids go read and then I ask them the comprehension questions or sometimes I just ask them to narrate to me what they have learned. And that works really, really well. So... Um, that's what he's going to do for literature. And then he's also obviously got his group subjects that we do together as a family, history, Bible, literature, science, and enrichment studies. And so, um, yeah, that's a wrap on all of his individual subjects for 2024. I think it's going to be a good year. I'm looking forward to it. He's stepping more and more every year into being a little more independent with his schoolwork. And, um, yeah, he's doing really well. So his, Extracurriculars this year, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do. It'll either be he'll continue with gymnastics or do Taekwondo. Um, my girls did ballet last year. One is going to continue with that and the other is going to do art classes instead of ballet. So, um, yeah, I will let you know as the year goes on how things pan out. But if you do have any questions for me about curriculum or like anything, leave them down in the comments below and I will get back to you. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no war.